Yeah. And I'll second it. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's review was of the that. previous minutes. And and uh, Laura, you noticed I misspelled cannabis. Uh, yep, cannabis three times. Uh, make <laughs> so those corrections. At number three. Yeah. Uh, in the following. Yep. And, and then at E under the following. Yeah. Cannabis. I think it's only three times. I think so. Okay, got it. I think that's all I Otherwise, saw. Otherwise, it was very well done. Yep. Yep. I thought it was good too. You said the B on Venus. Nice job. I don't know where that Thank was. you. So, anyway. Down here. Great. Yeah, um, I'm just going through stuff here. Okay. I know it's all on one, actually. Oh, it's on tonight. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm just going through the information oh, question packets mark. here real quick. Um, yeah, underneath that P mess the B. Yep. Yeah. That's in the agenda for tonight. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um so, any other corrections that need to be made for the minutes from September 27th? No, I didn't see anything on that one. Okay. All right. Um, we hear a motion to spelling corrections. Let me go to accept minutes with the Spelling. Yeah. A second. Okay, Amari. Seconded. Uh, all in favor of approving the minutes from September 27th with the spelling corrections? Aye. 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 Minutes approved. Um, COVID-19 MPHN updates. Um, Judy, you've completed another survey. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the second one for this excellence, what, what is it? Oh, uh, public health excellence grant. And, and uh, this one was on um, employment. You, um, they were talking about sanitarians and all that on this one. But there was a section about um, asking questions about board of, as a board of health member. So I went through it all and it was pretty simple. It was only 30 questions this time versus 164. Oh man. Actually, the last time they ha added a few at the very end and it came like 180 questions. <laughs> so it was only 30 questions this time. It was all demographic stuff. So it's done. Excellent. Thank you. I'm waiting for phase three. <laughs> okay. Um, Title five reports. I'm pulling one out right now. Actually two. Uh, one for 14 Egg Clark Road. So I'm going to write that in. Ed Clark Road, and it passed. Okay. Um, pass that around. Books to look at, and then. Also, we have one from 48 Healed Veal, Healed Veal Road. <laughs> and that one also passed. <clears throat> Both done by Thomas Halopainen. One coming from Geordie Lane recently? Uh, no. It's really weird. That's the house just sold. They moved in yesterday. I don't remember seeing anything about a Title V report. Uh, Geordie Lane went through months ago, actually, I believe. It wasn't for sale months ago. 
doesn't matter. They pro- they can do the Title Five. Oh, so you think they did it way ahead of the sale? Up to mm-hmm. two years, I think. Is yeah. There? Okay. Up to two years. Yeah, that that okay. that sounds address sounds familiar. I won't swear by it. Because I know we get the water report from a house on Jordy. Um, Check. But I wasn't. For which what number again? <sighs> it could be thirty. Oh. No, I'm wrong. It's 40. 40 Geordie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's my next door neighbor, but we're 36 and they're 40. So it does. Oh, that big jump in numbers. Yeah. That's why I. Yeah. Huge Is jump. Is that a house on the right? If you go. As you're coming down. So as you're coming so off you of go Dogwood, up, you yeah. go the first. Yeah. The first entrance onto Dog. Um, up. Up to Jordy. Yes. And you're coming around, it's on the left. It's on the left. Yep. It just sold. So the one at the top of the street just sold too. So that was Dogwood. Mm-hmm. And then now about four houses down on Jordy, that one just sold. All right. Maybe I haven't seen a title five on that one. Okay. All right. And here's the other one through here. Um, Um, I haven't seen any water tests come in. Have you seen anything on the computer, Judy, or anything? Mm-mm. Okay. So I need to ask Gabby to see. I'm going to ask Gabby to see if water tests in an email from one uh, Ron. Burton's Camp. Oh, that's right. We said that one. And two Peaceful Acres Campground. She was supposed to send me one. Yeah, I think the Ron Burton we said might have been lost on the computer. Did they get most of that back? Yes. Excellent. And three, uh, the school. Uh, We need to reach out to. Is this uh, quarterly or just by in? On the school, I'm like, I can't remember. Child two. And it's uh, Mr. Varney. He does a lot of those. Yeah. Varney. Four this is the way it's supposed to be built. Look at that nice little okay. picture. That's the way it's supposed to look. 1,500 gallons. One, two, three, four, 100 feet. <laughs> No, I wish my daughters looked like that. They still can't find out the ca- septic system cap. They can't find it. They want to have it updated and they can't find it. Now they're going to have to go out there with some sort of metal detector or something. They're like, <laughs> yeah, because the well, town does not. it used to be metal caps. It's not anymore. There's cement caps. Well, the uh, handle is rebar. So they're hoping that it's going to catch the, the big metal handle. What are they looking for? Empty the septic. Usually, usually you take a pole and you would know, poke around to yeah, find yeah, like, it. It's too like rocky. a poker, like you'd find on the fireplace. It, it's too rocky though. They just keep hitting rocks and they keep digging, thinking they found it. It's another rock, and then they go and they hit a rock and they dig it up, and it's another rock. Why don't they, they go see somebody at the board of health and ask them for the plans for the old? Septic. They came. They came and got it. Um, let me have this. They um, came and got it. When I have to. And it's 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 wrong. It's clearly wrong because they've looked where it says. Like she just showed that map, and it's like it's, wow. There's no plan of the actual house when it was built in '94. All they have is something that says it was emptied before the sale or the, the Title Five thing, and the drawing is not accurate. Like they show the house as a box, but the house isn't a box. It's got like a garage on one end, and it's got like an, an inlet on another. So they can't tell where no, it's probably from. completely different and, than and it was in 1994. It's a hand drawn, and it's hand drawn, right? I'm it's a hand drawn <sighs> single piece because that's the way it used to be. Know. They just they still heads. can't find it. Still oh, wow. can't find it. Oh my it used God! To be just a piece of paper. Yeah, but '94. You think that was pretty recent? The house isn't that old. I'm going. What? Yeah, but it probably the reason why it probably looks different is because it's been added on to or. I think they might have built. They, they might have built the garage on after the fact. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Just yeah. crazy. They just keep hitting a bunch of rocks. <laughs> like, oh my God. What's the address? Their house? Yeah. Um, it's, so it's right beside Sue. Um, Dogwood Road, south. There, is it 10? 
tent right next door. So like the driveways like go side by side. Well, I, I'm hoping to spend one day a week poking through all of the files here. And oh, so if yes, I, if please. I come up, if you come across something, <laughs> they would love that because they can't empty it. <laughs> wow. So it hasn't been emptied for a long time. No, they, they just bought it like two or three years ago. So it was supposedly emptied it before it was sold. So and there's not a depression. Well, well no. not only well why don't no. you know they could call no. the septic company that emptied it and ask them if they remember. I mean just just anything about where it might have been. I think they did try that and they said they had no idea it had been years and they just yeah. Yeah. And even the guy that did it, like even the guy that did the uh, the top fifty one A, whoever that title was, title title five. Um, yeah, fifty one A. Yeah. yeah. But I get that on my mind. Yeah, you do. Um, <laughs> Being the scholars. Yeah. Um, yeah. He didn't know either. So <laughs> getting nowhere. Mm. While you're reviewing that, I will tell you that there are no. New permits to be voted on or signed off on. Okay. This mm, make week. life easy. This month. No permits. Okay. Um. So I will take on the bylaws updates. And. So, uh, yeah, while you're reviewing, we have old business of the bylaw updates, and Judy, you're going to look into it. Yeah, I'm going to look into that. Look into, um, first of all, I want to know if any of it's on digital, and then the second, um, we'll just continue to pull it, pull it all together. Yeah. for an apartment for a homeless so group so I didn't get to it. Sorry. That's okay. All right. Um, also, Judy, any word on any uh, public health? Public health? No. I don't see. I haven't seen any. Oh. I'll put that in my newsletter. Nothing. Thank you. That's the MRC yes. later. Yeah. I'm just stating that for the meeting. Thanks. All right. Um, again, I misspelled cannabis. I well, I already <laughs> corrected myself um, on the action plan. As of right now, um, I have not written the letter. Um, nor contacted uh, Chris Monroe, chairman of the planning board. Those were the two things we were going to start with uh, because I've just been busy myself between fall finishing up of uh, on harvesting on the farm and a family activity over the weekend. Um, I haven't done it, but we have a little time. Again, we, the permits are not quite due to be reviewed by the planning board, but we'll get on to that and get that composed um, and very I'm, soon. I'm assuming the, the, the smell is not there right now, um, the cold I weather. Have and not the, I haven't smelled, smelled anything, anything recently. In a, yeah. At least three weeks for myself. Um, yeah. So, uh, so we get a lot to so do I, everything else will have to come further down the road. Mm -hmm besides reaching out to the planning board and um, the letter. Um, under open septic engineering reviews, um, 28 Mayo Road, um, I signed off, which is the certificate of compliance. Um, so that one is now done and completed. 
I, I drove to these. I didn't participate in all the work that was done. Um, but so I drove to, to the site, checked it, made, walked around, made sure it looked okay, and then came back and signed off on it. And the same thing goes for 41 Halfrey Road, um, which was not on the list prior to this um, and should have been, but I won't draw it again. They wanted it signed before closing last Thursday, and um, I went, was able to last Thursday hop in my car, drive over, walk around the property, look at it, and then came back and signed off on it so that they could fax it over to the agents for closing. So those two are done. They'll now be off the list. Another one that's not on the list uh, that we've been running, keeping track of, is 40. I think it's 40. It's right across the street from how 41. It's new construction, and it should be on our list because it's not completed yet. Okay. The septic system is in. The dirt is covering it, but it's not grassed in and so on. It's not done. So that should, that's why I put that one on. 55 Bemis Road is awaiting a perp test, and I will be, I believe that's the one I'm going to on the 20th. Um, 231 Gardner Road, that just came in, um, and we're gonna add, uh, with paperwork that's here, uh, 16 New Templeton Road, to that list of open septic slash engineering reviews. <coughs> Sorry, I'm signing off on this. Um, oh, I'm using it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and the 16 New Templeton is in this other packet. That's something that's just arrived. Um, as far as food inspections, uh, what was last Sunday's date? Um, I went to Rietta, Rietta and um, October 2nd. <laughs> I went to um, Rietta and we inspected for their fall inspection. Um, so that's completed, no problems. And then uh, on the, in two weeks, the 24th, I'll be getting the Hubbardston Market. I'll reach out and probably do the school, the, um, what used to be Mr. Mike's and Jocelyn. I'll probably try and hit all those in the next, in, in two weeks and work on them then. Um, so that will cover everyone. Excuse me. Don't something off in that. Did anybody go to the uh, none such night thing? Someone and came did anybody and check the, the none such oh, night? I wasn't, Dan I wasn't here. Drop something yeah. I believe he did, whoever it was. Okay, so the other um, food locations that re require a second inspection will be done in, starting in two weeks. Okay. And I'll get to them then. If you want to know when I can go with. Yep, the diner. Yep, every, all those. Okay. All of them again. And then um, I will reach out to Rich Stevens from um, Hardwick and contact Barry. him to. Rutland. Rutland, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Rutland. Um, to uh, do my inspection 
my kitchen license. So do you get to reciprocate and do his do the inspection of his winery? No. <laughs> no, he has someone else do that. Um, Did you need to do any um, checking at the non night they just had? Was, that, was it Saturday? Saturday night? Um, I didn't go there for anything. Uh, Katie Young had expressed to me how they were going to Sir, use only pre-packaged commercially um, commercial yeah. products at that activity, and if they did that, would yeah. that and cover already, everything? We had already signed off on the trucks too, right? The dog father. And yes, the, yeah. they've they've already um, they've all been inspected at least once this year. Yeah, in the past. So field day. So I didn't do anything for that activity. It was cold. Yes, it's it was really very cold, cold out. And they're all sitting out there watching a movie in the freezing cold. Oof. Crazy. Right. Yes. <laughs> Catch me out there. <laughs> so that's that will cover everything that needs to be done. Um, it'll get done in the, this last quarter of the year, which is okay. Yeah. Under the food inspection. All right. all right. Yeah, if you want to let me know, I can come with you if, I, if I'm able those days. Okay. And just kind of give me a heads up. A few days a week, part time. Yeah. Okay. So. I can put you on. I can tag you as well. Perfect. Yeah. Um. That way, if you want to tag, come along. Great. If you're free, that's yeah. fine. I'll show you how, what that's like. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Make a note to myself. <laughs> All right. Okay. Do this one. Um open complaints uh, we had gotten a complaint of uh, supposedly garbage and smell from a nearby neighbor at the gravel pits about a week ago and um, is, is that a picture bill? I believe so and so I asked Gabby to um, ask the police department to go inspect because that's, you know, that's illegal and stuff too, if they could find anything. Um, I was going to call the person, never did. Um, and the following work day, next work day that Gabby was in, that was like on Thursday, so the following Monday, um, I talked with Gabby. Yes, the police were in. They did not find any trash there at the time. And so I asked Gabby to contact the caller and say that it was um, it was checked and everything. So that is now closed. There's no additional complaints. Um, 248 Gardner Road, um, RV is still on the property and being used. And I'm keeping 91 Hale Road in parentheses because that's a in the courts. So we're just trying to keep everything that's still open on each agenda until it's either closed, signed off on, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, new business. Any new so they business? Have, I'm sorry, go they ahead. have six go months ahead. for the RV? Yes. And then it has to go away for how long or not be lived in for how long? Do you know? Like if know. they went away for a month and then came right back, that would they have another six months? I don't think so, unless they can justify that they're getting repairs done to their home or something. Okay. I mean, if there's ho repairs to a home, you know, sometimes that takes yeah. a year. Yeah, to get you have to move out or up. something. Yeah. Um, so the benefit of the doubt right now is that, um, as of the last meeting. We're making them aware. You know, it's it's okay. uh, so conscious effort on our part as a board of health 
to recognize that there's a RV being lived in regularly on, on the site. And uh, there's nothing we have to do about it. We don't have to notify them or anything at this point. Okay. Um, it's just if it becomes a, it cannot become a permanent home. So anything over six months is considered permanent. Like, permanent like. <laughs> I don't know, it's not the wrong word. Um, it's not allowed anyways by the law. The one on 68, like Bob's, uh, Bob's bait. Do you know what I mean? That's empty now. The trailer, the RV is? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've been watching it. Okay. Cause that was Sorry. Our, that was I'm off. I've like got my years. hot eyes out watching things <laughs> as I drive by. Like someone's Wherever been living it is. for years. <laughs> okay. So that one is now, it has not been occupied for a couple months. Okay. I do watch. <laughs> if I know about it, I keep my eyes open. You're watching. Um, all right. Any, all right, so is there any other new business that anyone has? I do have one thing. Um, uh, Phil Ledger, did, did I get any any of you the email? Yeah, uh, you, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Did you look at his, the way he had written his yep. rates? Mm -hmm. Did it look okay to it you? fine to me. Okay. Um, we I had some concerns because some of them were pretty much in with the in what we do. Yes. But there were a couple that were above yes. the way we pay. So the question was, would we accept that? So, change? for example, the um, perk test, he won. we were paying $75 for the first two hours, and then I believe it was like $25 every additional hour. Yeah, okay. And he wanted 125 but it doesn't define how many hours. So, um, I'm assuming that it's, it's a flat rate for the... It's still fee. pretty expensive no matter, no matter what way you go. For somebody coming in to town to trying to sell or trying to buy, but... Mm -hmm. um, it is, I mean, but it's, it's better than um, the rates that the previous guy wanted to increase to. Or going east. Right, going east uh, of 495, the rates are double what we wow. charge, to the best of my knowledge. So um, so that's the new business. Is um, Okay, so those get paid by the person that's yes, getting the Yes, which test means done. that anything through um, this week, maybe we should say through the 15th of this month, would not, people would not have to be charged an, in, an increased amount, we'll just if there if there's we, any do we have to post that now we have to vote to approve the increase but if it, it's going to be an increase to the owners don't we have to post that too yes that's okay. why I was saying if we approve increasing the perk test fee and I think there was one other that didn't quite match our fees I'm sorry um, I don't have it in front of me to tell you that's what I was trying to pull up um, my phone we could, works. you know, have that start in a couple of weeks and therefore be able to, one, we'll approve the increased rates tonight and then two, approve him officially at those rates and three, um, then get it posted with the new rates but give everyone, you know, two weeks. Okay. So it was two perk to... Perk fee that's going up, and what was the second one? Oh, we don't know. We're looking at. I'm that. sorry, my phone can't pull up stuff here. It, so. Mine either. I can't. I so can't I apologize. Get anything from here? Do you have an iPhone? Because uh, maybe the Samsungs are together. <laughs> oh, mine's an iPhone. Yeah, mine is too. I can't. I don't think I ever got the email. I don't remember getting it. I don't either. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't. Actually, well, I to yeah, Judy make sure it got home. Yeah. Forwarded. Yeah. Okay, now I never printed it out. No, that's okay. We can.
transgender. Was okay. it the engineering review fee? I think that was the second one. Yeah. Might have been. Health intern. Yeah, here it is. Oh, she has it? No. Yeah. Okay. So was I correct? The perk is, he wants 125 per diem, is the way he lists? Perk tests soil evaluation, $200. 200. Plan, 200. Plan reviews, 200. Septic inspection, 200. So it's almost all 200. D-box, 100. Yeah, the only thing that's 100 is the component inspections for the like tank and D-box. I, I don't... No response. Sorry, so those are all higher. Yeah, so it was, which one would be the engineering review? Oh, plan reviews, 200. Yeah. That's actually the reasonable. Is, yeah, the perk is too. Did that go to all of us? Maybe yeah. not. I don't know. I may have. I, didn't, I don't know it, why we could have just come to it, me. It could have come when I was on vacation. Had, I don't have any service where I've been all summer, so it's... Mm -hmm. yeah. So here's When I get here home, I try to read. So the perk test plan reviews is reasonable, but perk test septic inspections, oh. um, which are Title Fives, um, components, which we called a minor inspection. Right. Um, yeah, so it's either, they're, they're basically all 200 except for the minor. It's so, 100. Uh, yeah, um, they're still less than what the other fellow wanted. Mm. Did you way. see this? Mm -mm. Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I guess the perk, though, is more than doubling, right? Yeah. 75 to 200. Mm -hmm. But it's a flat rate. Which means so it, it goes it, and it's four hours. So it doesn't matter it's how long. It's 200 bucks. Or if it's one hour, it's 200. Right. So or if it's six it hours, six hours it did it's 200. Us, including you. Oh. So he's averaging it out. <laughs> how all did of us. I not see this? What? It did go to all of us. I don't know. I, okay. might, have, I might have been, oh, I was. I thought I was, I was losing my mind here I was away minute. on vacation. Well, it was I September 28th. I not understand why they would no, think so it I wasn't, only I wasn't, I wasn't here. Okay. Yeah, I was out of state, so I, I probably may not yeah. just didn't get it. Excuses. excuses. I know. It's, <laughs> it's terrible. Okay. It was terrible. <laughs> I, right. When I come back, I try to just catch up on stuff, but I so guess there, I that one. It's a big increase, but it's not as big as what the last gentleman wanted. Correct. Okay. And we think it's reasonable within what's in other towns around. Yeah, he's charging the same, That's the same. same rate yeah. to every Everybody. other town. Okay. So it's the same rate to every other town. Well, plus you have like going all, right the, all the experience that he has. He has a yeah. tremendous amount of experience. Yep. Yeah. He's and honestly, I can't think of a thing right now that hasn't gone up recently. So Right. So <laughs> first I make a motion that we accept his rates as listed in that email that we have now all looked at. Mm -hmm. um, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Then I make a motion that we increase our rates for these categories um, to that same level that will go into effect um, in two weeks. So that would be 11, the 25th of October. Okay. New fee rates go into effect. Do I have a second? I'll second. Again, this is just, we're not adding above anything else for us. It's just to pay him. All right, motion. Kathy, second. Lead. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. 
is it a third part? Anything else? Oh, I, um, so we did, oh, and based on that, I am assuming <laughs> that we will hire him as a contractor. Right? Sorry, yeah, that was part three. Seems, it seems like that's really our only choice. Right All now. in favor of hiring him as our contractor? Aye. Uh, okay. That assumed that. I'm sorry. What's, yeah. What's, what's his okay. title we're going to give him? He is a septic In inspector. Yeah. He's a sanitarian inspector. Yeah. Perfect. Hire him as a registered, registered yeah. sanitarium. Hire him as a registered sanitarium. Okay. That will be his title. For inspections, yeah. Yeah, for inspections. Got it. He did say, you mentioned, or he just said that Rich Stevens would back him up so if he's out on vacation yeah. or something. He can't. Okay because he does perk tests in this town. Oh, which does? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, so I guess we should let him know that. Um, I will let him know. I back, I usually back up anyone we have if, if he's gone um, as a witness to test. I can't do engineering reviews that we can use Rich Stevens for. Mm -hmm. But I, as far as actually going out for inspection as a witness to these various things, I can do that. Mm -hmm. I have done it for the board. Mm -hmm. I did it for a couple years. You take those tests? I will not take the tests. Oh. I will just be a backup <laughs> for emergencies until we were able to find someone. Yeah. For two years, we couldn't find anyone that wanted it. Crawl mm -hmm. in the hole? <laughs> they weren't there. So, I used to do that before crawling the hole. So, like, oh, well, I've done all of it, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, there is uh, a check with the New Templeton Road for uh, $85 um, that will be deposited. So, uh, New 16, New Templeton Road, $85 check to be deposited. Um, and um, Gabby said that we got a notice from MPHN slash Steve Curry's office uh, that our bill was not paid, that we approved to have paid uh, the $600 and half a year for the Maven nursing coverage mm. back in June. And uh, so I asked her to call them and find out if the, which part of the fee was this bill for a thousand for the Maven was covering what time frame. So I thought it was for June through December, and I haven't heard back from Gabby as to the results of that. So um, I don't know what happened to that bill. So who who pays that? It gets paid out of our revolving account. But by by Gabby by. Well, you send in a turnover form to the uh, accountant treasurer in town, okay. and they pay it. Oh, okay. So the town accountant. Send a pays copy it. of the bill. This is approved by the Board of Health. This much is to be sent to them. And I guess it never got done because mm -hmm. Mallory was already gone at that point. Okay. So I need to check with Gabby on Thursday once she found out because we approved a total of $1,100 to be paid to cover us for our yeah. membership, if you will. Yeah. Participation, okay. which these two surveys are part part of, yeah. so uh, because yeah. um, the MPHN has applied for some huge grants, and each town that is part of MPHN has to submit 
the survey information. It's part of the grant process. And he's applied for some really big grants. I won't give you a number because then I'll be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't had an official meeting since August. It's the last Zoom meeting I participated in. So. I know Orange is working on those and Athol is too. And they were, Orange is looking to get actually get a public health nurse oh. as part of their... Out of the budget. Out of the money, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's several things it would help. And that's all I think we'll probably get a public health nurse too. Right. It's it's a six figure grant. Yeah. It gets divvied up amongst, mm -hmm. amongst the towns based on our population and stuff. So that's great. These are federal grants of state. It's a combination. It, it's federal grant and it's based, yeah, it's... It's, it's yeah. federal, but it's follow Massachusetts up. It's like a follow portion up. of the federal grant. Yeah. So okay. it's a combination in that regard. Okay. And it's a follow-up, uh, you know, follow-up on COVID, okay. where it became, you know, very obvious. That yeah. Had to boost the public health system. You think? Yeah. And, and I was forever. listening to the news tonight and they're saying that a lot of hospitals are shutting down their um, maternity wards for um, low numbers and high costs and it's leaving again we end up with these little deserts you know like if they were to shut down at all that would leave a desert out there for medical care it's already bad out there based on what I've been listening to from all yeah. the other boards of health. Well, but UMass is taking over Haywood and Athol. No, they're just, they're, they're partnershiping with them. Partnership. <laughs> mm. They're still going to remain independent, yeah. but they're going to be able to access into services and resources they wouldn't be able to access. It's, it's a little bit different. I know, like, Lemonster has, they still have their own CEO and executive yeah, team. But they're considered UMass. But they're tied in with UMass as well. Yeah. And they're they're tied in. And right. They're more connected and than than, uh, than I think Athol and Haywood, Haywood yeah. would be. But it will bring in some yeah. additional services. Haywood, Haywood but, you know, but they were talking about, you know, like Shell, Connecticut, right on the right on the edge in the northwest corner, uh, right on the edge of, of Massachusetts and New York. Mm -hmm. It's a little town called Shell, and they have a hospital in there, and they're planning on shutting it down, and that would be a huge area out of Massachusetts. Yeah, with no. If you were to draw a circle around yeah. it, it's a huge area out of three states without any maternity care. Because no. they would have to travel 45 minutes to an hour. So if you go into labor, you're looking at an hour's drive. And if you're in trouble and you're bleeding or whatever. Yeah. It's not a good situation. No. So uh, that's another thing, you know, I, I've been, maternal care has been, has been, you know, if they had a big, Boom, what was it in the 80s or 90s? It was 80s or 90s or something. I think, yeah, 80s or something. They had a big, they put in a lot of money and they were doing up follow up care after so if you had a baby, you got at least one call from the VNA. So there was a lot of follow up care and then it just sort of dwindled. And then um, by the time nine, 1995 rolled around, a lot of that was gone. And now it's just. Was that been, because it was a. Um, they lost money. Birth rate was low of, at that point? Huh? Uh, no, it was just um, so a lot of monies were drying up. So they. And then it just sort of shriveled down. And now it's in that sort of plateau for a little while. And now the hospitals are being impacted. In no. the I mean, Lemonster shut theirs yeah. down. The insurance to cover labor and delivery is outrageous. It's so high. Yeah. It's really high. 
even for like you know like a primary care that does birthing too it's really high yeah yeah to insure them as doctors because yeah, right. there's so many losses the and stuff with bad outcomes for babies but yeah and that's oh, these bad costs, outcomes if for babies you. and moms as for for you know for nations like ourselves that are fairly well to do we're like number one for mortality yeah, the mortality rates very high Infant yeah mortality is really high in the u.s yeah. yeah so it's like wow that was not good it's not good all the way around correct yeah it's a bad situation yeah mm -hmm. just had a quick question. Did anybody find out um, what happened with the AED at the senior center? Did it get well, new yeah, pads we and new stuff? Up on that and find out if mm -hmm. they put the battery in. I, I do know at our church that our new battery to replace our battery mm -hmm. is on back order. Uh, because they're lithium. We got the pads, but we didn't, get the, we didn't get the battery. They're lithium and it's like a pack of batteries. It's like this big that's got to go into the AED. Because you can imagine, it has to generate enough volts. Oh, yeah, I suppose. You know, yeah. so it, the battery, it's not like what at the hospital that's like plugged in. It's, it has to be a standalone, so yeah, the batteries are vital. Yeah. <laughs> and they have to be powerful, so yeah. They're only good for so long. Yeah, it costs your church $300 to replace the battery and the pads. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. But and now it's on back order. <laughs> you know, and the pads, you know, you have to question. It's like they claim it loses its stickiness, so that it's not gonna. They're not gonna stick well. Right. Um, but do they really? <laughs> I mean, the expiration is. You know. Well, one of the things that happens if you don't have a good contact is you get air underneath. Yeah. And when you have air, um, you can actually hurt the skin versus transmit the full shock into the body yeah. and so yeah. you, there's two things you're not getting the full shock to the body where it needs it and two you can actually hurt the skin because of the air yeah. oh, okay so. um, the only reason that I am aware of that is from working in hospitals in the past yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you can use them to repair them. So, <laughs> cut the hair off. Yeah. Forget the razor, just put it on, rip the hair off, and throw it away, and put the real one on. <laughs> so, uh, any, uh, any it's unexpected stuff? Well, the only is that thing doesn't bring the blood through yeah. to you, your way. Oh, yeah. Um, Did you read the one on Central and the Cannabis? Yes. yes. So, that was just synthetic? Yeah, that, and that kind of puzzles me. So What's, what does that even mean? That mean? Because cannabis yeah. is supposed to be something grown. Grown, yeah. It's a plant, and then they get the THC out of it. You're saying there's a synthetic version of THC that they're using? Because I, I know there are some medical drugs that, are, that have THC in them, and it's not plant-derived, so that must be the synthetic. Yeah. Well, it, all I know is... they can prescribe you a pill that has THC in it. So it can be yeah. a, a prescription thing instead of smoking or eating an edible or vaping or whatever you want to do. Um, so maybe I, I, I don't. I took it to mean that when that the site that was growing the cannabis used a um, chemical to prevent um, weeds, etc., from growing. Rats. Rats, rodents, excuse me, from being on the site, and they were not cautious in how they took care to spray or use that chemical for the rodents, and therefore contaminated the product that was then pro produced. The problem is that they have victims across ten states, so this is probably um, a way that agriculture with this being used. And most of it's in the south, so I'm not right. too worried, but I think it just, you know, keeping our ears in the yeah, ground, did find out. Four of the patients actually died from it, correct? But they know of, more than like that. 30 or something? There were a number. Eight, yeah, 80 something people got sick. Yeah. But the thing oh, is, really. this, is the, this is the kind of drug that once it gets into the system, there is no antidote. Right. 
-hmm. So that, yes. Was so it that is just it? something for all of us to be aware of as we go forward and keep in mind when we do our cannabis mm -hmm. reviews with the two sites. Yeah. Um, probably won't happen to the one with the greenhouse because he was going for organic certification. Yep. And that product would never be allowed to be used. Mm -hmm. If he did, if he did go for organic certification. I, I think the thing that bothered me was the fact that it was across ten states and it was like several dozen. Yeah, so it was the product was spread a, a, yeah. a long distance. Yep. From wherever it was coming from, where coming from. what state? Mm -hmm. What state? Right. That was needs, needs more needs more exploring, but it's like whoa, this is not good, right? And the article came out on October second, so it wasn't like we, I was looking at something that was floating around on the internet for a long time, right? Um, any other unexpected subjects for business? I don't have anything. Okay. Uh, make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. Second. Seven, what is it, 56 on your watch? So, yeah, seven. What is your 7.55. 7.55 p.m. Wow. Sure.